Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Today we're talking about the ultimate setup and ultimates uh, a little bit overstated for uh, ZBrush or 3D modeling programs like Blender or Maya, uh, anything that you're using for 3D modeling for a tablet. Uh, if that's something that you do, then this is a great channel for you to subscribe to. So go ahead and click the subscribe and notification button right now. So 3D modeling on a tablet is definitely a challenge, especially if you're trying to do it in a comfortable, relaxed fashion. So in this guide, I'm going to go through some of the top things that you can do that really improve the workflow and the experience so that you're, you're feeling kind of like you're drawing on a magic sketchbook. Uh, that's what I want. I don't want to have a um, laptop, mouse, and keyboard drawing on a screen at weird angles type of experience. So go ahead and watch the entire video as I will have a, a bunch of tips at the end that are going to be really important that will really save you a lot of time setting up your computer for ZBrush, Blender, Maya, and uh, all the other different ones that you use for 3D modeling. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need the WinTab driver installed for ZBrush to support pressure. So I've created a little zip file that is, uh, there's a link at the bottom of this, that's going to include a bunch of different programs, including Tablet Pro, the ZBrush preset, and the WinTab driver so that you guys can get quickly set up. Once this driver is installed, uh, restart your machine, and let's go to step two. You're also going to need the pen tool. The pen tool, we added a feature just this week uh, that allows you to press the uh, modifier button on the on the artist pad and then it switches what the button does on the pen which is really cool and I hope that it works for you guys as well as I'm wanting it to uh, this is not the end game but this is I think a great step forwards so you press alt shift or control on the artist pad and it switches what the button does what this will do is it allows you to um, do a lot more with your pen than you could do before. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe if you have not yet and click that notification badge. And uh, the links to everything that I just mentioned is in the description. So have fun, good luck, and any questions you have, place them in the comment section. And uh, happy seed brushing.